Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video out here at the creek right here. Yeah, so it's probably gonna rain. It's starting to thunder and lightning pretty bad. Who knows how long we'll be able to actually fish, but I got my fly rod. This creek is full of brown trout and tiger trout and rainbow trout. And today we actually have an objective. Catch a tiger trout, catch a brown trout, cook them side by side, see which one tastes better. A little catch and cook throwdown. Battle of the species. I'm using this fly rod, haven't used it in a while. Got the Pissafun Sword, nine foot five weight, along with this cheeky reel. And for flies up top, I got a pheasant tail with an orange head down to a Frenchie, both tied by a subscriber, Barbara. And yeah, hopefully the fish are hungry. The water is looking a little bit stained, so I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't have too much of a impact on these fish, but we'll see. And it looks like there's some fish surfacing down there. So they're here. Let's try it out. First drop down. I normally don't mind fishing in dirtier water like this, but since I'm fly fishing, I don't know how deep I am. I don't know how deep to set my indicator at. I mean, it could be like four feet, three feet right here. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing. Oh, there's a hit. Oh, 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 that was a hit. I either, I don't know. That might've been a hit. I could have just gotten hung up on a log because that was kind of a, it's kind of a weird bite. Oh, that was a hit. That was a hit, 100,000%. That was a fish. Horrible hook set, though. All fish just surfaced right over there. Oh, my gosh. Did you see that? One just came up and smacked my indicator and just pieced right out. Just smacked it and swam away. Like, what are you doing? Get it. This is my, this is my stream. Oh, dang it. Missed one. How? How did I miss it? I don't understand. Oh, there was a bunch of frogs. Look at that. Did you guys just see that? Like three frogs just jumped in the water. One's right there. What kind is that? Can I keep him as a pet? Hey, give me a... Look at that little guy. <laughs> what kind is that? Hopefully it's not one of them poison, poisonous ones. Probably is, my luck. All right, we'll let him go. Hop away, fella. See you later. Go, go. There you go. Here comes the rain, still fishless. Missed a couple. Like right there, are you kidding me? There was one. Come on, come back. Man, I've missed probably half a dozen bites already. There we go. Mm, that was a tiger trout. That was a freaking tiger trout. Shoot. There we go. There we go. Let him eat it a little bit longer before I set the hook. Nice little tiger trout. Heck yeah. Come here, buddy. Now this guy might be too small to keep. I mean, that's just a baby. That is a baby baby. Look at that thing. Really pretty fish, but I think we're gonna let him go. First fish of the day. Sweet. After about half a dozen missed bites, finally got one. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, <clears throat> um, I sort of already lost one of my flies, which is why I only have one. All right, let's get another one. I've seen a few hit the surface right behind this tree. And the rain's starting to come down. Oh, goodness, come on. Get at least one more before we have to go take refuge. All right, I'm switching. We're gonna try this leech. It's a little bit bigger, stands out a little bit more. Hopefully they'll be able to see it easier. There we go. There's a nice brown. There's a nice brownie. Heck yeah. This might be a keeper. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're keeping this fish. Look at that. Solid. On the leech. 
Nice. Dude, it's honestly been kind of slow. We've been fishing for an hour and all we've got are a couple bites and one little tiger trout. And then I switched to this leech and we got a good fish. That's not a bad fish either for this stream. Good cooking size. So yeah, we're gonna keep this fish. Um, but like I said, I wanna keep a tiger trout to cook them side by side. If we don't get a tiger trout, we can get a rainbow and do it. But this guy is definitely gonna go in the pot. Never mind on that. I was gonna get a picture of him. And what do you know? Jumps out of my hands. Reached into my pocket to grab my phone and he just jumped straight to freedom. Well, you're lucky, buddy. Oh, there goes another frog, dude. They're everywhere. Hey, little buddy. Look at him. He's so cute. Ah! Look at that. What kind of frog is that, you guys? Let me know in the comments below. And can we eat them? Just kidding. Come on. Do not tell me there's not one fish right here willing to eat. Are you serious? How? How is there no fish in this spot? I mean, there definitely is. How did I not get a bite? There we go. There we go. Dipped it right in that spot. We got a fish, little brownie. You know, let's keep this guy. This one's a little bit smaller, but still would be good for the pan. And we got him right in the eyeball. <sighs> Sorry about that one, buddy. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and kill him real quick so it doesn't flop away. Pretty little fish. We're gonna cook him up. Hopefully we can get a tiger trout. I don't know, maybe we should have kept that one at the start. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Give me a rainbow. I I'd even do a rainbow. Rainbow trout first, brown trout catch and cook. Something. Oh, there's some fish. Oh, missed him. One thing I don't like about stream fishing in like, you know, around tons of trees like this, you get a bite, you set the hook, you miss, bam. You get tangled up in some tree and it's gonna take you 10 minutes to get out. Oh man. So when it comes to fly fishing, I love fly fishing lakes. Streams, not so much to be honest. I mean, it's fun, but I, I, I prefer to fish small streams like this with spinning rod. I will admit. Bro, I don't get it. I don't know where the fish are today, folks. It's like some days they're everywhere. Every step you take, you spook like 10. And then other days they're just non-existent like this. Oh, one just came up and grabbed my indicator and he actually had it in his mouth. And I actually had him on for a second. That was interesting. There we go. Is that a tiger? No, it was a brown. Ah, can't keep him hooked. Oh, you oh, dang it. I'm hung up clear up in that tree. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I'm at the very top of the tree. How did that happen? Oh my, mm, I'm about to snap my, oh, gotta be kidding me. No way I'm getting this out. Yep, there it goes. Awesome. Awesome. Fly, indicator, leader, everything is gone. Son of a, I love it, dude. I, I can't tell you how many flies I've tied on, taken one cast, and they're just gone. Because that was a new fly. I just tied that fly on, Copper John. First cast, hook a fish, snagged in a tree, it's gone. Everything. I'm telling you, I have lost, just this year, hundreds of dollars. Just stupid crap like that. Well, let's tie a whole new freaking rig on. I'm telling you guys, every time I start to build my fly box up, I go buy like $100 of flies. Within the week, I have less than when I started with. Like, I bought like 100 le I bought like 50 leeches the other day. They're all gone. Sorry, I'm actually kind of mad right now. Like, I'm just so sick of losing equipment because of stupid crap like that. I'm already down probably $20 on this trip and I've barely caught three fish. I'm telling you, I'm done. I'm not fly fishing little streams again. Screw it, I'm done. Should have just brought my spinning rod. Let's just tie this on real quick and snap it off first cast, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Probably not gonna catch another freaking thing. I should just go home right now. Mmm, got one more twist lock indicator left. Go ahead and lose this real quick. All right, what fly do I want to get rid of next, huh? You know, I'm feeling 
Yeah, I want to get rid of this thing real quick. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and lose this setup now. I am ready to be hurt again. There we go. Rainbow, rainbow. Nice. Wait, what is that? I think it's a rainbow, yeah. Ooh, should we keep this guy? Yeah, dude, why not? I don't know if I'm gonna catch a tiger, so might as well keep this guy. Pretty rainbow. Biggest one. Oh, make sure he doesn't snap me off here. I would have brought my net, but the strap for it broke and I didn't feel like carrying it around. Sweet. Got him on that purple nymph. Surprised I didn't break him off. Sweet. So these rainbows are stocked in here uh, to be kept. So might as well take one. Hopefully he tastes pretty good. I don't know how long they've been in this creek, but usually when they're right out of the hatchery, they taste like garbage. So the brown is probably going to taste better than this, but we'll see. And if I get a tiger, I'm gonna keep that too so we can do a three species cook test. All right, I just violently killed this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and toss him in my bag and keep fishing. All right, let's toss it back in there. This is a really good looking spot, so there's probably fish just stacked up. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. Oh, that was another rainbow, I think. There we go. Little brown, not what we're looking for. Just get this guy back quick. Come on, where's the tiger trout? <laughs> Pretty little brownie though. Oh, later. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. What do we got? Another brown. Yeah, it's about 90% browns in this stream, I'd say. And then if you find a pocket that's full of rainbows, you'll catch just rainbows. And if you find a pocket with tigers, you'll catch a bunch of those. See, I got that guy on this little red copper john. I guess the hooks are a little bit better on it. There we go. Another one. What is that? What is that? It's a brown or a tiger? Brown. <laughs> nice. This is a pretty one. This one's got a lot of nice color on it. That fall orange, that's what I like to see. That is not bad brown actually for this stream. You kidding me? Beautiful. It's a picture worthy fish. Pinned him right there on the tip of the nose. Perfect. All right. Thanks for biting. That was fun. Sweet. There we go. Rainbow. Interesting, we got a random rainbow in here with all the browns. So they must have stocked a bunch of these guys right here in this section. Because where we started fishing, there was none. Oh. See you later, buddy. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is actually where they stock the rainbows and tigers, or at least one spot. So hopefully there's a few that have hung around. Yep, there we go. There's something, rainbow, I think. Yep. Nice. Pretty little fish. We'll just get him back quick. I already have a rainbow. Oh. See you later. Nice. Little brownie. All right. See ya. Oh, oh, tiger, tiger, tiger. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, get him over. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh got him. That was kind of violent. <laughs> I had to step on him. Nice. There we go. There's a tiger trout. We are going to keep this fish, so. I'm gonna kill him real quick before he gets away. All right, there we go. I had him, I lifted him up on shore. I couldn't get him around the branch and he flipped off so I had to step on him. So now we have a brown, a rainbow, and a tiger trout that we're gonna cook up side by side and do a little taste test on them. That is so cool. Hey. 
There we go. Ooh, look at that. Little rainbow. We're about to go cook, but I figured I'd try a few more minutes for some fish. There we go. That's the smallest rainbow we've seen. All right, I've caught some very nice fish right here before, right up against that big rock. I missed an absolute giant here last year. Yep, there's a rainbow. Nice. Come on, we gotta end the day with a giant brown. See it? Oh, you're fine. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, hey, hey, that's not a bad brown. There we go. Not a bad fish. Sweet. Nice. It's not a bad fish. I love brown trout. I, I like fishing for them in these little streams. It is fun. They're just such a predator fish. Fight hard. They're just so cool looking. That guy wanted it too. He had it clear in his mouth. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get some revenge on the fish at this spot, but I swear I missed like 10 bites right here, so I gotta catch at least one of them. Come on. I know there's gotta be like 20 rain. Yep, right there. Ah! Oh my gosh, dude. What the literal crap is going on? Why can I not hook these fish? There we go. I'm. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. All right, I'm getting a little too angry. <laughs> this is, this is ridiculous. I, I, there's another hit, there's another hit. Nope, I just missed a good tiger trout. I wonder if you guys could see on GoPro, he came up. It was a nice fish. One of the bigger fish we've caught today. There he is. That's just a little guy. And I can't even land him. This, I'm, I'm about to just go home. I'm about to toss my rod in the water and walk away. There we go. There we go. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Good rainbow. Oh my gosh, he's fighting. He's fighting. Nice, look at that. Finally. We've only got a few seconds left on my GoPro. We gotta get him back quick. Look at that. Look at that fish. Finally, we got one from this spot. Get him back quick. See you later. And now the rain's coming, so I think that's a perfect stopping point. Break out our stove here. It's actually raining. It's sprinkling a little bit, but I parked underneath a big tree and it's kind of shielding us from it. So yeah, we're doing a three species catch and cook today. Brown trout, rainbow trout, and tiger trout. See how we're gonna be cooking these guys in some hash browns today. Set our pan on. Oh, that box is empty. Thankfully, I got another box. Then we have our three trout right here, brown, rainbow, and tiger. De-skinned, or no, not de-skinned, de-slimed and de-scaled. Definitely cut the rainbow in half. We'll just put half of them in. And then the, the tiger and the brown are small enough that I feel like we can fit them in there. But we'll see. Take this rainbow, set them in there, and then our tiger and our brown. Boom, there we go. Then we'll take a little bit of butter. It's quite a bit of butter. We'll just set it right there on top, let it melt. We'll turn the heat up a little bit. That looks amazing. Well, you know what? Go ahead and throw a little seasoning on there. I normally don't eat the skin. Well, I'm not gonna eat the skin, but I'm just gonna go ahead and season everything. All right, that looks good. Rainbow, tiger, brown trout. Mm. Now we'll go ahead and take our cover here and cover them up. Perfect. 
It usually doesn't take too long, about four or five minutes and they're pretty much done. Uh, I want to get the hash browns nice and crispy, so we're going to leave them on a few extra minutes. The fish is almost done. Not quite though, but it smells really, really good. And yeah, it's starting to rain. I mean, I'm, it's not too bad because this tree's blocking most of it out, but we're getting a little bit wet. I mean, there's blue sky over there. It should clear up. I am going to take one of these lemons Feels nice though, we have like a little heat source that smells delicious. I think I might have put too much water in though for the hash browns because they're kind of soggy. The meat's like peeling away already, so I mean they're pretty much done. I'm gonna give them a little while longer though. See, I gotta apologize for semi-raging. Like I swear, sometimes I just wanna take my fly rod, crack it right over my leg. It's so frustrating, dude. I think I need to like take a break from fly fishing and just kind of, you know, bring myself to peace a little bit because dude, fly fishing is some of the most fun I've ever had in my life. It's addictive. It's the best, but it's also the worst. I've had a lot of you guys comment like your frustrations with it as well. Like it's so much fun, but you'll go all day, lose like $50 worth of equipment, not catch a freaking thing. Why do we do it? Why do we keep coming back out here? Why? I don't, I don't get it. No, it is, it is really fun when you're actually catching fish. It's so expensive. Oh, that's the name of the game, I guess. All right, so these fish are definitely done. I'm gonna go ahead and take the bones out. Lift them right out. All right, so the middle one is the tiger trout. I feel like the brown trout has a little disadvantage too because it's almost their spawning season and you know during fish's spawning seasons they usually don't taste as good. But also the rainbow and the tiger came from a hatchery so I guess it kind of balances itself out. Look at that. Tell me that does not look amazing. Those hash browns are kind of getting a little golden brown on the sides. That's what I like to see. Yeah look at that. That is what I'm looking for. And there we go, look at that. Fresh trout and hash browns at the creek, three different species. Let's try it out. So, I already forgot. Okay, no, that's the rainbow, tiger brown. Let's try the rainbow first. I don't wanna get any of the skin either. All right, rainbow trout from the creek. Mmm, those are just some good hash browns, nice and crispy. Let's just grab a bite of fish. All right, that's just, a, ooh, there's some skin on there. Mm, I don't like that. Mmm. That's good, not great. It is good. Let's try the tiger trout. Grab a bite of the tiger. I missed a lot of the bones. Um, let's see. Really the only flavor I'm getting at all is the lemon. It's kind of kind of bland. All right, now, last but not least, let's try some of the brown. This is kind of what I'm thinking is gonna be the winner, but we'll see. All right, brown trout. Hmm, I missed so many of the bones. Golly, I think I already have a verdict. So the rainbow trout wins, and here's why. Well, I, I honestly don't know why. It just tastes a little bit better. None of them taste amazing. They honestly are just kind of bland. They don't taste bad. They just don't have much flavor at all, other than the seasoning and the lemon juice. Um, other than that, they're just kind of, you know, it's just fish. But the rainbow trout has much better texture. The tiger trout, super mushy. Not a whole lot going on. Same with the brown trout. And the brown trout, I mean, their spawning season's coming up. Usually when they spawn, their meat gets mushy. So maybe that's the reason why. Yeah, the rainbow trout actually has a little bit of firmness to it. And the taste is pretty similar. They all pretty much taste the same. The rainbow trout might have a little bit of better flavor to it, but I don't know. None of them really stand out to me other than the rainbow trout, just a little bit more. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Day out at the creek, not bad, caught three different species. Missed a lot of fish, quite a few. I probably won't even put them all in the video. Lost a handful of flies, probably spent more money 
making this video that I'm gonna make back just because of all the stuff I lost. But hope you guys enjoyed. Nonetheless, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.